G'day guys, it's Jack here, taking you through your session today. Today I've got eight three minute rounds for you. Let's have some fun, let's push ourselves, let's get ready for the warm up. What we're gonna do, non-stop uppercuts for the first 30 seconds, all right? So just roll in those arms, keeping the shoulders nice and loose. Up, 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 up. If you wanna start playing with your pace, little rolls, little circles with the hands, small movements with the shoulders, nice and steady for me, okay? When we warm up, guys, particularly for boxing, we wanna keep everything nice and loose. So it's all about getting the muscles warm, but staying nice and relaxed. In three, two, one. From there, guys, we're gonna go into our jumping jacks, okay? So if you're not comfortable doing those, just step out to one side, step out to the other. One side, the other. If you are, again, focus on landing nice and light, keeping everything nice and loose. Don't thump down and keep those feet as light as possible. Good stuff guys, 10 seconds. Arms up, keep it up. In three, two, one. From there guys, feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down into a nice simple squat. Again, we don't need to go too low at first because we're just warming up. Just warming up the leg muscles through the hips, lower back, wherever you're comfortable. Go to that point and back up. All right, we don't want, the worst thing you can do is move too early. We don't want to push anything too hard too soon. We want to get nice and warm, nice and relaxed, so you can push it all into the session. And relax there, guys, shake it out from there. Nice, simple jog on the spot. Okay, so just light on the feet. If you're not comfortable jogging, go into your march. But if you are, nice and steady on the spot. Keep those arms nice and loose, but don't put them down by the side of the arms drive you through. Focus on your breath, get that heart rate up nice and high. Almost there, push in five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there guys, well done. Everything's nice and warm, have a quick drink, wipe your sweat away, let's get ready for round one. All right guys, we should be nice and warm after the warm up, ready for a big session. So for round one, we're gonna keep it nice and simple, get everything moving. We're gonna go double jab cross and a big front uppercut for me. So double jab cross, want the legs to bend nice and low and explode up while you're doing a little jump. All right, let's get into it guys, let's go. Double jab cross, front uppercut. Double jab cross, front uppercut. As always guys, make sure these hands are touching the chin, always staying up. Double jab cross, shooting straight out, arms nice and long. Uppercut, nice bent arm, shooting up through the air into your opponent's chin. Double jab cross, front uppercut. That's it. As you get more comfortable, as always, be confident with it. I wanna see you put your own flair into it. Double jab cross, front upper. That can be pace, that can be rhythm, whatever you're comfortable with. Double jab cross, front uppercut. Back to your stance, always ready to go. We're almost there, guys. In five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there, guys. Well done. We're gonna keep that same baseline. We're gonna go double jab cross, front uppercut, big cross to finish, okay? Make sure you pick your opponent's head up and then twist through. Big rear cross to finish. Let's go, guys. Double jab cross, front uppercut, and cross. I want that last one, guys, to be nice and powerful. Double jab, cross, up. This is the money maker. Boom, twist right through your opponent. Everyone imagine that you've got a bag in front of you or an opponent, imagine you're in a ring, and that's what you're hitting at. You're not just hitting at the air, you're imagining something there. Double jab, cross, front uppercut, and cross. Be confident, vary that pace. Double jab, cross, front uppercut, and cross. Never dropping the hands low, always keeping them up nice and high. 10 seconds guys, we're almost there, keep moving. Double jab, cross, front uppercut, and cross. Push in three, two, one, and shake it out. Well done guys, from there, we're gonna go into some of our body weight work, focusing on the leg. So what I want you to do, we're gonna go into our prisoner to knee squat. On the knees, hands behind the head, up, up to that squat position, and back down. Ready, let's go. Up, up, and back down. 
doesn't matter about your pace with this one, guys. I just want you to focus on keeping that back nice and straight, hips in, arriving at the same spot as if you were doing a regular squat, okay? You need to have a breather in the middle, stay on the knees, hands on the head, and then keep moving, all right? Nice and steady, slow pace, all resistance training. Anchor the hands in. We're almost there, guys. 10 seconds, push. Push, I know it hurts, but it's very functional. This is getting up off the couch. In three, two, one, and up. Well done, guys, good way to start. Round one done, nice and loose. Get ready for round two. Excellent job, guys, well done. All right, guys, moving on to round two. This is where we start to find our rhythm and flow. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go back to the basics and fundamentals, keep it nice and simple, really focus on getting a twist in the body and keeping the hands up. Nice and simple, jab, cross, jab. Reset, breathe, jab, cross, jab again. Make sure those hands are straight and high. Let's go for it, guys. Jab, cross, jab, reset. Little movement side to side. Jab, cross, jab, reset. Nice little bounces and confidence. So as you guys start progressing, start experimenting with how your body moves. Don't just stand there and throw the arms out. Boxing's a whole body thing, the legs, the hips, the shoulders. So as you get more confident, start throwing it out and trying to move those parts of the body to get a bit more power and flow onto your punches. Jab, cross, jab. Breathe, jab, cross, jab. See how the body complements the next punch. If you do the jab right, the cross is right. If you do the cross right, the jab's right. Almost there, guys, almost there. In five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out, guys. Nice and simple, great combination. From there, we're gonna reverse it and go cross, jab, cross. So starting with that rear hand, cross, jab, cross. Same principles apply. All right, let's get into it. Cross, jab, cross. Nice and steady. Cross, jab, cross. Same thing as before, guys. Start looking at the movement through the hips and shoulders, keeping everything nice and loose, letting the body complement itself for me, all right? 30 seconds to go, guys, 30 seconds to go. Cross, jab, cross. Now that you're confident, start throwing it out there a bit faster. Can you put a bit of pace onto it? Bump, bump, bump. Good. Bump, bump, bump. Nice straight arms, hands coming from the chin. Almost there, guys, push now, push. Confidence, imagine you're in the ring, let's go, 10 seconds. Boom, boom, boom. Almost there. Keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out. Well done, guys. All right, let's hit the lower body now. We're gonna go to the legs, all right? So what you're gonna do, into your squat position, bum back, in at the hips, hands on the head, keeping them linked behind, and we're just gonna go into our prisoner squat pulse, okay? Let's go for it. So all this is, it doesn't need to be fast, it doesn't need to be big movements, just a little bounces up and down. Little momentum shifts for me, all right? If this is your level, then that's fine. As long as you're feeling it in through the quads and in through the hammies, then you're doing it right. Keeping the hands interlaced, pulse, pulse. Hands behind the head. Most important thing, guys, is keeping the back straight. Don't slump forward like that. Puts more pressure on the back. Weight through the heels, dig into the ground, and pulse. Legs are starting to feel like jelly, push, 10. We're almost there, guys. Keep it up. You're doing well. This isn't easy, no matter who you are. Keep it up. In three, two, one, and up. Well done, guys. Round two down. We're going to move into round three. Now we're really starting to hit our stride. Let's get that flow happening. Well done, guys. All right, guys, we're off to a fast start. Let's keep that momentum going with round three. Now's where we're really gonna get our eye in and keep that flow happening, okay? What we're gonna do, jab, cross, jab, pull back, jab, cross, shoot it out. Jab, cross, jab, pull back, jab, cross. We need to keep those arms nice and straight, throw with confidence. Let's go, guys. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. 
jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. With this one, guys, I really want you to start thinking about the flow and the rhythm of your body. That's what boxing is all about, flow and rhythm. Don't just shoot the arms out, punch with the hips, punch with the shoulders, punch with the torso. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Once you get confident, start picking up that pace. We've got 20 seconds, guys, let's go. Keep moving, confidence now, confidence now. Try it out, see if it works. Jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Keep experimenting with the pace. 10 seconds, jab, cross, jab, jab, cross. Almost there, keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there, guys, well done. From there, we're gonna do the exact same combo, we're just gonna reverse it. So we're gonna go cross, jab, cross, cross, jab. Cross, jab, cross, cross, jab. All right, exactly the same thing, reversed. Let's get into it. Cross, jab, cross, cross, jab. Cross, jab, cross, cross, jab. Same thing, guys. Think about that movement. How does the weight transfer? Forward, back, forward, pull back, forward and back. Cross, jab, cross, cross, jab. Cross, jab, cross, cross, jab. Make sure when we go, cross, jab, cross, pull the shoulder all the way back on that rear side, shoot out with a lot of power, and finish with a jab. Cross, jab, cross, pull back, cross, jab. 15 seconds to go, guys. Let's pick it up, let's pick it up now. Confidence, confidence. Keep moving in five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there for me, guys. From there, we're gonna go into our three-way squat, attacking the legs. We're gonna start nice and wide, step our way into shoulder width, and then step our way all the way in with our feet together, all right? 45 seconds, let's go. Wide, middle, and close. Wide, middle, and close. If you wanna start picking up the pace a little bit, instead of stepping, make it a jump. Jump, 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 jump. Back out. Whichever way you wanna do it is the way that's gonna be best. Now, as always, don't go too low if you're gonna hurt yourself. Whatever's comfortable for you, but whatever's gonna get a nice workout for you. Okay, guys, we're almost there. 10 seconds. Keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, one, and relax there, guys. Well done. Round three in the bag. Let's keep pushing that momentum forward, going into round four. Well done. All right, guys, we're off to a fast start. We're at the halfway point now, being round four. I know it's starting to hurt, but let's really keep driving that pace forward. So what we're gonna do in our stance, legs bent, elbows in, hands up. One, two, three, four straights. Hook, cross, okay? One, two, three, four straights. Front hook and cross. Let's go for it. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. I want you to start getting confident with this, guys, and breaking it down. Make the first four straight punches, one, two, three, four, fast, then the hook and the cross. I want you to throw them with a bit of power, put a bit of venom behind them for me, okay? One, two, three, four, boom, boom. Speed, power, and rhythm. It's all what boxing's about, okay? We're almost there, guys. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. 10 more seconds, keep moving for me, guys. Push yourselves, push. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. In three, two, one, and shake it out there for me, guys. Well done, we're gonna keep that base of one, two, three, four. This time though, uppercut, front uppercut, cross and hook. One, two, three, four, front uppercut, cross and hook. Let's go for it, guys. One, two, three, four, uppercut, cross, hook. One, two, three, four, uppercut, cross, hook. I want you to take the same principle from the round before, guys, and make those first four nice and fast. And the last three, up, cross, hook, nice and powerful for me. Speed mixed with power. One, two, three, four, boom, boom, boom. Nice and steady, 20 seconds, guys, push yourselves. One, two, three, four, bump, bump, bump. Almost there. Confidence now, crack through. 
Well, you throw it like your life depends on it. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Uppercut, cross, hook. In five, four, three, two, one. And shake it out, guys. Well done. That's a nice combo there. From there, we're going to hit the legs again and go back to the body weight stuff. Take your feet past your hips nice and wide. We're going to go into our sumo squat. Down and up. Don't go too low, wherever's comfortable for you, okay? Let's go for it. Down and up. Down and up. So we're taking the legs a little wider than usual, just to get more of a stretch in the hips, more of a broader baseline. Okay guys, as always, keep the hips in, bum goes out, and the back nice and straight. Always back straight. Whenever we're doing leg stuff, squats never come in like that. Always hips back, bum back, straight. All right, guys, keep it up. As low as you can and back up. If you can start picking up the pace a little bit, do so. We've got 10 seconds to go. Almost there. In three, two, one, and relax there, guys. Shake it out. Well done. Round four out of the way. Halfway, we're at the top. We're on the downward slope now, home slope. Get ready, guys. Well done. All right, guys, round five starting. So we've come past the halfway point. Now we've really got to dig in and win this second half. So what we're going to do, bending those legs as always, elbows in, hands up. We're going to go four uppercuts. Front uppercut, back, front, back, big hook, and a big cross to finish, okay? So up, 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 hook, cross, keeping those hands up. Let's go for it, guys. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. Make sure you're coming back and grounding yourself in before you start again, okay? One, two, three, four, hook, cross. Back to home, back to moving. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. That's the stuff, guys. Keep it up. Remember on the uppercuts to use your legs. Let the legs bring the momentum up. One, two, three, four, hook, cross. 15 seconds to go, guys. One, two, three, four, hook, cross, explode up from the legs, big hook, big cross to finish. I want it fast now, guys, we're almost there. One, two, three, four, hook, cross, two, one, and shake it out there, guys, well done. We're gonna keep the exact same combo, we're just gonna go instead of four uppercuts, we're gonna go six. Front, back, front, back, front, back, hook, cross, all right? Six uppercuts, really engaging the legs. All right, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, hook, cross. With this one, if you want to start playing with a bit of uh, rhythm and flow, instead of going up, 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 hook, cross, you can make them roll. One, two, three, four, five, six, hook, cross. Little circles with the hands. Still six uppercuts, but just a bit faster, okay? One, two, three, four, five, six, hook, cross. One, two, three, four, five, six, hook, cross, as opposed to one, two, three, four, five, six, hook, cross. 15 seconds, guys. Whatever you choose, commit to it. Be confident. One, two, three, four, five, six, hook, cross. We're almost there. Keep pushing. In five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there, guys. Excellent round. From there, we're going to hit the body, or the lower body, rather. You're going to come into your regular stance, and we're going to go into our around the world lunge. Forward on one leg, off to the side, and then back, repeating on the opposite leg. Let's go. Forward, side, and back. Really maintain your balance on this one, guys. Don't worry too much about trying to get speed. Go slow and get the balance. Forward, sideways, and back. Same thing on the other side. Forward, sideways, and back. Get the balance, doesn't matter if you go further forward or a little bit closer in, just maintain it. One, two, and three. Almost there, guys. One, two, and three, two, one, and relax there. Good timing, guys. Round five done and dusted. Keep the pace up, keep the heart rate up. Ready for round six, let's go.
All right, guys, round six. We're in the deep, deep stages of the fight now. Couple rounds to go. Really dig deep. Give it all you have. So what we're gonna do, guys, as always, bend those legs, elbows in, hands up. Fast hands. Jab, cross, front upper, back upper, front hook, rear hook, or back hook, okay, guys? Jab, cross, up, up, hook, hook. Let's go for it. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. Reset. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. Reset. With this one, guys, again, think about your flow and think about your rhythm. How's the body moving? Front, back, up, up, hook, hook. Make sure the hands are up. Make sure we're punching with our hips, our legs, and our shoulders, not just our arms. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. Once you get confident, guys, start letting those hands go. Speed and power. One, two, boom, 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 boom. Confidence, confidence, confidence for me. One, two, up, up, hook, hook. In five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there. Well done, guys. Let's keep that baseline going into the next combo. We're just gonna add two to everything. So instead of two, it's gonna be four. One, two, three, four straight. One, two, three, four of our uppercuts. One, two, three, four hooks. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Get confident with that, guys. Let those hands go. Once you start getting confident, speed, speed, speed. Doesn't matter if you stuff it up, give it a crack, go for it. Bump, 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 bump. Keep it up, guys, keep it up. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Keep moving, we've got 15 seconds, we're almost there. Keep going, guys, keep going. Breathe it out, breathe it out. Push right to the end. Two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, two, one, and shake it out there, guys, well done. So what we're gonna do this time, in our stance, we're gonna take a duck. Think of it like a squat, from there, we're gonna jump and shift into our uh, southpaw stance, squat and shift back, all right, guys? 45 seconds. If you're not comfortable with the jump, come up, take a step and switch. Up, step and switch, all right, guys? Nice and steady. I want you to focus this one. We all know how to squat. Just keep the hands up for me, okay? Hands up, knees bent, side on. Keep switching. If you wanna start picking up the pace and you're not comfortable with the jump, Make the steps a little bit quicker. One, two. Breathe it all out for me, guys. Breathe. Pressure on the legs. Hands up. Hands up. Keep it up. I don't even want you to think about the feet. Just think about the hands and the breathing. Almost there. In five, four, three, two, one. And shake it out, guys. Round six done. Two rounds to go. We're almost there. Keep pushing. All right, guys, round seven, second last round. This is the burnout round. I really want you to keep that heart rate high in preparation for what's coming next, okay? Legs bent, elbows in, high hands in your stance. We're gonna go double jab, cross, front hook, rear hook. Double jab, cross, front hook, rear hook. Ready? Let's go. Double jab, cross, front hook, rear hook. Jab, jab, cross, front hook, rear hook. With this one, guys, I want you to make sure on the double jab cross, your arms are nice and long. Long, long, cross, long, and then two big, powerful bent arm punches. Front hook, rear hook. Long, and then power. Double jab cross, front hook, rear hook. Really make sure on the hooks, guys, you're twisting your hips and your shoulders. Not your arms, hips and shoulders. Double jab cross, twist, twist on those hooks, guys. Double jab cross, hook, hook. Almost there, almost there guys. Push, double jab, cross, hook, hook. In three, two, one, and shake it out, guys. Be confident with that one now. You're all capable of it. Put that in the bank. We're gonna keep that structure. Double jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross. Then start again. Same combo, just adding a jab, cross at the end. Let's go. Double jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, Cross, bringing those hands back to your chin. Double jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross. Transfer that weight, 
Show me some confidence, some skill, and some power now, guys. 30 seconds, let's go. Hook, hook, jab, cross. Back to your stance, always moving, always focused, eyes forward, ready to go. 20 seconds, double jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross, push. Double jab, cross, hook, hook, jab, cross. Keep going, guys, faster now. 10 seconds for me, 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there. Excellent, guys. Confidence is key. From there, nice simple exercise. We can go into our jump squats, okay? Bringing those feet off the ground, landing with your legs bent. If you're not comfortable with the jump, go low and explode up onto your tippy toes. All right, let's go. In our stands, up and down, up and down. Try and keep the momentum as you go down and spring up. Remember guys, if you're not comfortable, go low and come up like you're gonna jump off the ground, but don't leave the ground. You don't have to let your momentum take you all the way back down, that's more advanced, but if you want that extra work, do that. If not, come up, toes, land, and then go down. 20 seconds. Now down again. Down, or into your jumps, whichever one you're comfortable with. 10 seconds, make sure you're landing nice and light. In three, two, one, and relax there. Well done, guys. Seventh round down, one to go. Burnout round done. Get ready, all the strength for the last one. Let's go, guys. Alrighty guys, ready for the eighth and final round. For this one, what we're gonna do is a body weight exercise for the first 45, followed by a couple of core exercises for the remaining two 45 seconds. Starting with the upper body one, we're gonna go down guys, and we're gonna go into our wide push up to our shoulder push up. So you can do this on your feet or knees, whichever one's more comfortable. We're gonna start wide with our hands outside our shoulder, into a push up, then we're gonna walk it in to about underneath our shoulders and push up again, walking in and out. Okay, knees or feet. Let's go. Wide, shoulder width. Wide, and shoulder. So what the key is for this one, guys, is you wanna get chest working, feel a nice pump in the chest, then when you come in, you wanna hit the shoulders and the back of the triceps for me, okay? We've got 25 seconds to go. Wide, shoulder. Wide, and shoulder. All right, if you're on your feet, you can move slightly easier. Really give it a crack now. So we're going wide, shoulder. Wide, shoulder. Keep it up, guys. This is grind work. Just get it out. Get it out in three, two, one. And shake it out from there, guys. Well done. That's the upper body portion done from there. We're going to go onto our back, into our core position, and go into our ankle taps. All right. So Feet as close as we can to the bum and swipe in down. Let's go for it, guys. With this, try to keep the body in a slight crunched position. So don't twist the neck in, but keep the head up and we're reaching as far down our feet towards the toes as we can. Keep it up, guys. As Soon as you start crunching your neck, feeling tension in your shoulders, you know you're probably not working properly. So lay back down, straighten out, come back up to neutral spine, and go again. 10 seconds to go, guys, 10 seconds to go. Grind, grind, in three, two, one, and shake it out there, guys. From there, we're gonna stay in that position. We're gonna go into our crunches. Again, keeping the shoulders and the neck neutral, legs up, and we're gonna crunch up, up, towards the ceiling. Look at a spot on the ceiling and go for it. Crunch, 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 crunch. You wanna hit probably the top third or two thirds of the core, coming up off the canvas and keeping the lower back down. So it's not quite a full sit up, you're taking the top two thirds up and out up and out keep it up guys up and out crunches crunch 20 seconds for me 20 seconds 
This is where it hurts. Push through the pain. You know it's only a little bit. Crunch, crunch. 10 seconds to go, guys. 10 seconds. Push, push. In five, four, three, two, one. And relax there, guys. Well done. As you sit up, get up nice and slow. Give yourself a bit of a stretch through the torso. Eight three minute rounds done, guys. That was excellent work today. From there, we're gonna move into a cool down. What we're gonna do for the first one, take the left arm across, shape it with the right, and we're just gonna stretch out that shoulder. We're doing a lot of punching all day with all the boxing stuff, so it's really important to stay loose during the, uh, through the shoulders, rather. Make sure you're not pulling across too much, just enough pressure to feel a nice sort of pull in through the back of the delts there, okay? 10 more seconds. When I say change, we can do the exact same thing and just swap over to the other side, all right? In three, two, one, shake it out and swap over to the other side. Same thing, taking the right arm across, cupping it with the left and putting a little bit of pressure through the shoulders there, guys. We do a lot with our shoulders during the day, you know, whether it's through work or exercise or family life, so it's really important to keep them nice and loose. All right, so anytime you get a chance to stretch, make sure you're doing it, okay? You can put a bit more pressure on as you get more loose in three, two, one, and throw it back out from there. Guys, we're just gonna take the arms out nice and wide, like you're gonna give someone a big hug. Put a little bit of pressure back through the arms, pump the chest forward, and a nice big stretch through the opening of the chest, all right? Like you're lying there on the ground, taking your arms out as wide as possible. You should feel this in through the chest here, in through the front of the shoulders as well. Nice and wide for me. Stretch, stretch, stretch. As you loosen up, go more. Five, four, three, two, one, and shake it out there. From there, guys, we're just gonna keep a slight little bend in the knees, don't hyperextend them. We're gonna go down and stretch out the hammies. With this, don't try and force your way into anything. Just let the body hang, don't hyperextend, and let the body hang over. Stretch all through the back of the hammies and the lower back for me, okay? Stay nice and low. If you can, let the crown of the head dangle forward. You'll feel that all through the back, through your bum, legs, uh, hammies, calves, all of it. Keep it up guys, and relax there. That's the cool down done. Excellent work today guys, you smashed it. Keep up the good work, stay fit.